Hey folks, Kevin Inoue here with Fight Designer. Um, this is just a quick and dirty video, not uh, using my fancy camera or anything like that. Um, but I just, uh, I was inspired by some of the stuff that Damon Stith has been doing. And I just want to give a shout out to my man Damon. Uh, he is one of the heads of the, uh, I, don't, I don't know their exact organizational structure, but of the uh, HAMA, the Historical African Martial Arts Association. He's been doing a lot of really awesome work with some of the, the lesser known systems and and uh, lesser known weapons uh, in at least within the United States and, and English speaking countries in general, uh, including the Kopesh and the Shotel and, and just a lot of cool African sword and spear systems. And it's been really awesome for me as someone who uh, started in a system that is very much based in the SAFD with, with traditional sort of, you know, long sword, sword and shield, rapier, small sword, that kind of stuff. Um, to see how these things, as, as well as Asian martial arts, to see how these things manifested in different parts of the world. Um, and as someone who's dabbled in capoeira, to see how some of the capoeira footwork comes out in blade work, that's just been really cool to see. So he posted something recently about the shotel, and I I do not have a shotel. <laughs> um, I, I've been meaning to pick up one of uh, Damon's trainers or, or an aluminum copy or something for ages, and I haven't been able to nail him down on that yet, so I'm still working on that, man. Um, but uh, he had a little challenge about uh, wanting to see some of the plan with stuff. So what I do have is a, a aluminum scimitar, Samshir. Um, and, you know, you hold it backwards and it's actually not that different blade geometry wise to a shuttle. Now, the, the shuttle is cool in that you can, it's, it's, you can use it either way. It can be uh, a draw cut like a scimitar or it's got this forward hook that can do these nasty uh, point forward stabs that can reach around a shield in really cool ways. This is... You know, European buckler, obviously not the right thing, but it's, it's what I've got. Um, but I just want to see one of the cool things that, that uh, I noticed Damon doing in his video, and I'll put a link in here. Um, you can pull. So I have yet to see any sword form where when you're doing a bind or something, you can pull. Uh, in unarmed stuff, that's not that uncommon. I mean, we get traps here, and you, you can like kind of pull, pull their wrist forward a little bit, boom, do stuff there. But with a sword... Uh, especially if it's got any kind of a curve, like a, a you know, a scimitar, or a saber, a katana, it can draw back and through. But if you've got that shuttle edge that curves forward, you can hook down and you can pull it. That's freaking cool. And that opens up so many options. And what's more, because you can use it either way, this is my little, uh, uh, this was originally a, a bicycle repair mounting arm, but it is, it is the, the sword holding arm on my training dummy here now. Um, so what's cool is that you can you can pull down, but then all you have to do is rotate the blade, and now it draws through. So it doesn't stay stuck. You don't stay in any kind of commitment to that hook the way you would if you like hooked a bearded axe, where you're kind of like stuck, like awkward teenagers with their braces stuck when kissing or something. I mean, it's you, you can't get those apart if you get a, if you get an axe hooked with another axe. But with these, all you got to do is rotate it, and then it draws through really nice and easy, and you can do something else and come back through. So that's freaking cool. The idea that you can do these hooks and releases really easily to pull down and come back. That's pretty cool. So, uh, shout out to Damon and the work he's been doing. If you haven't checked him out before, he's really generous with stuff on his Facebook page. Go check that out. Um, and check out the Hammond page. I'll put some links down in the description. But this is just cool stuff, and I can't wait to get a chance to actually play with the real thing um, or a training version thereof. And I'm really curious what he's using for his shields as well, because I have a feeling that these European bucklers I'm using are just way too heavy to be what really what you should have for something like this. But uh, anyway, cool stuff. And I love the flow that he's getting with those. I have uh, a low ceiling in my basement here, so there's only so much I can do. But I love that you can reach around the shield and still attack with that. So, here's my plug for a shuttle. Uh, I, Kopesh is another thing I want to play with sometime. These are the cheap uh, plastic Kopesh that I got when I was debating using them in a production of Aida. Uh, we ended up not going that route. These are just uh, hollow plastic Halloween costume versions. Don't look that bad, but they wouldn't hold up for anything if you actually start using them. But you can see how they've got a similar ability to kind of like hook behind shields and pull, as well as that chop that's sort of inspired by the Epsilon Axe design, right? That, that nice forward haft. Bam. Cool stuff. There's a whole wide world out there to explore, folks. So don't limit yourself just to the, the European 
standard Shakespeare season weapons. If you're doing stage combat, if you're doing martial arts, you're doing stunt work. Um, explore, play, have fun. All right. Thanks for the challenge, Damon.